Hi there, need help printing your Excel worksheet on one page? Let me help. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your Microsoft Office skills. So let's look at how you can change your print settings so that your worksheet doesn't have those pesky extra rows and columns printing on another page. I'll take you through how to set this up and I'll show you how this setting can make it seem like inserting a page break isn't working. Now, if you're using my 100 plus steps to proficient workbook to improve your Excel skills, I've popped the topic number this video relates to in the description below. If you haven't yet claimed a copy of this workbook, I've also added a link to where you can grab yourself a copy. Right, let's look at how to scale your Excel worksheet to fit on one page. Right, let's have a look at how we can get Excel to print our worksheet on one page. So I'm gonna make my way up to the File tab and down to the Print tab. Now this is a common situation where you will have a worksheet that you're wanting to print and it's going over multiple pages. Down the bottom here we can see that we're on page one of four and if I just show you what we've got here, so you can see obviously we've gone down the page, we can see the bottom of the columns and of course we've got the extra columns going over to the right there as well. Now if I'm wanting to have all of this onto one page, this isn't ideal. So what we can do is we can obviously have a bit of a muck around and see if we can get our columns a little bit smaller and we can um, obviously adjust our margins. Now here's a really quick way to do this. Down here in the right corner of Print Preview, if you click on to show margins, you can actually just drag your margins in here and of course you can also drag your column widths if you want to as well and adjust them in here too. But of course that's not going to help us much. We've got quite a few things kind of like not working the way they should be working. So I'm going to come out of here and we can go obviously back to our um, worksheet. And I, I know a lot of people will muck around in here and do things like, you know, you can do a word wrap in here if you want to maybe and make that column a little bit smaller. Um, you might want to delete any columns you don't need, but that takes a lot of time and you can still see we've still got that page break there. It's not really giving us what we want. So let's have a look at a quick way that we can do this. We're going up to the file tab. We're going to go down to the print tab and over here we've got something called no scaling. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click onto no scaling and we're going to select fit sheet on one page. Watch what happens. Now we've got one page of one. Look at that. So good. I'm just going to turn these margins off. Now one thing you will notice is you probably need a magnifying glass to read this. So there are times when this isn't exactly what you kind of need and I'll show you in a minute how you can work through that. But if I just come back down here you can do things like fit all columns on one page if you want to. And of course you will see then all of the columns have actually been scaled down so they'll fit onto one page wide and you'll see that it's two pages tall. So you can do that if you want to but I'm going to go back to this fit sheet on one page because I want to show you a little bit more about this. So I'm going to go over to um, the page layout tab. Now bring your eye over here. You're going to see that as you've set that scaling in the print preview, you can see that it's got print one page wide by one page tall. And you can also see that Excel has scaled this worksheet down to 56%. Right, let's have a little bit of a talk about this fitting one page wide, one page high. If you've got this set onto a worksheet, um, what will happen is you cannot then do a break, insert a page break. Watch this, if I go insert page break, nothing happens. So if you're having a bit of a problem and wondering why the heck isn't my page break working, have a look up here. It could be that you've actually got this or these settings turned on. Watch if I change this, if I go over here and change this back to automatic, and now I go up here and go breaks, insert page break, look at that, you can do it. No worries. You'll see that the scaling has changed a little bit because I've changed this back again. Um, so of course if I go and show you what that looks like in print preview, we've now got one page and you can see it's obviously pushed everything else onto two other pages just where I've put that page break in there. So scaling is fantastic but you do need to understand it because of course if you've got these on and you're trying to put a page break in, it won't let you until you go back and you set it back to automatic. So you can obviously scale if you want to, you can just drop your scaling down and then you can use your um, insert page break. So I could put that back to 56 if I wanted to. Let's go and have a look now at our print preview. Ah, that looks better. 
But sometimes you, you don't know what that needs to be and you kind of muck around with it and you muck around with it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just set this back to 100%. So that's the default, automatic, automatic 100%, that scale to fit on the page layout tab. So we're back where we started, right at the beginning. And if I go and show you, in fact, no, I won't show you on print preview. I'm going to take you over to the view tab. And I'm going to take you to something called page break preview. You can get to it down here as well, page break preview, exactly the same place. Now, if you come in here, you're going to see where your page breaks are actually set inside of your worksheet. And you can do this. I'm just going to go back to page layout. So at the moment it's 100%. You can actually say, no, 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 I don't want that page break there. I want it over here. And I don't want that page break there. I want that down here. So everything's going to now print onto one page. Look at that. Can you see it's actually given you that 56%? So if you're not sure of you know what the scaling can be, you can come in here and you can actually drag these to where you want them to be. And can you see it's now included J and K in here? So anytime you can actually reset the boundary of where you want your print to be simply by going into View tab, Page Break Preview. There's your normal, okay, that will take you back. Now before I leave Page Break Preview, I just wanna show you, if I come into here, and I go breaks, insert page break, because you can do that, because it doesn't have that one page setting in there. So you can easily do that if you want to. And of course, you can just remove it from there if you want to as well. So going back, really, really simple, easy peasy. If you wanted to, all you need to do is come in here, set it to one page wide, one page high. Or if you wanted to, you can obviously come in here and you can set exactly the boundaries of where you want your print to be. So at this stage, of course, what will happen is you will be able to um, print onto that one page, which is great. So if we go and have a look at print preview now, there it is, printing everything to one page. But of course, do remember that when you've got those settings on, you will not be able to use your insert page break. Oh, and one last thing before we go, we need to put your view back to normal. Here we go. That's better. So I really hope this instruction has been helpful and you are now able to scale your worksheet to fit on one page. If this has been helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And if you use Excel and want to stay connected, please consider liking, following, subscribing because I'm sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this help, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.